everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and oh my god. <laughs> it is so hot in the UK today. It is pretty much like un- Bearable. and apparently it's just gonna get hotter so that's uh great i am like a sun baby through and through but i haven't had time to adapt to this heat at all so i'm just sitting here baking my face is all moisturized to try and cool me down a little bit but today's video is going to be one that was requested by one of you guys on instagram my instagram is just at kirialara same way it is here if you want to follow me i've seen this video doing its rounds on youtube and as per usual i uh am late to the party but i thought you know what i'll still give it a go even though right now I don't feel like I should be wearing makeup because it'll just slide off my face <laughs> but let's give it a go so today I'm going to be doing the doing my makeup in alphabetical order challenge <laughs> so Katie thank you for requesting it I hope this is everything and more that you wanted <laughs> not quite sure what it's going to come out like but we are going to try our very best and I'm going to try and make this look good because I kind of want to go out after this <laughs> without further ado let's get into it <laughs> okay so I've got my list of steps and I've sorted them out in alphabetical order and the first thing that I've got to do is blush now I don't have like a cream blush or anything like that I don't think in my collection so I'm gonna have to put powder blush on my face seems pretty pointless but I'm gonna try and choose a darker color blush so it kind of comes through the foundation in the end hopefully <laughs> right so I'm gonna take this NYX blush which is the ombre blush in the shade strictly chic and I'm gonna go into the darkest part of it oh god okay let's just go on in I guess <laughs> so I'm really gonna pack this on so it comes through oh god okay I'm just gonna like pack this on really heavily and hope it comes through foundation later. Oh my god. I'm questioning all my life decisions right now. <laughs> Taking over a little bit of the nose, why not? You know, right here. <laughs> I look like I've got such a cool sunburn. <laughs> this will literally be me if I stay out on the sun too long. <laughs> all right, now that is on, it's time for bronzer. Lucky for me, I do have a liquid bronzer. This is the Do The Hula by Benefit. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this and by a little bit I mean a tiny amount because it's very dark. I'm gonna use a stippling brush and just stipple this on the hairline. This is a really warm kind of bronzer and I have used this in the past but I only really use this when I have like fake tan and I need like a mixer. So I'd use this as like a mixer for my foundation. This feels really nice and cooling on the skin right now though. <laughs> it is hot to tat tat right now. I look literally crazy. Look at my face right now. A little bit over the nose, you know. Okay, next is concealer. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me, which I've been going back to and loving. Uh, I don't really wanna get orange blush all over the wand. Okay, so I don't wanna cover up the blush too much, but just enough, you know? Do a little bit of highlighting. I have no words. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go in with my sponge. I'm here, I'm gonna use my concealer as my base my eyes just because i don't want to put eye primer in this mix okay <laughs> oh dear lord this looks absolutely crazy <gasps> oh dear try not to like move it too much because i don't want to blend it over everything completely because you know i will be putting foundation over everything we need to make this work guys all right we are all blended out <laughs> can you imagine if it just went out like this now it's for contour. <laughs> I'm gonna try the Fenty Beauty one again. I haven't used this in a while. This is in the shade Amber. It's pretty cool tone and it's pretty dark. So I'm hoping it's gonna work all right. Let's go in. Oh, that is very cool tone and very dark. Uh, and that was a lot. <laughs> Let's hope it kind of fades out. Let's hope I can uh, dial that down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I used for the liquid bronzer and see if I can blend the two together. Oh dear Lord. Oh God. <laughs> this is not working out well at all. How did the likes of like Nikki Tutorials and Soph Does Nails make this look at least passable? Because I'm here right now thinking I'm not going to be able to leave the house after this. <laughs> Perseverance, I guess. I don't think the Fenty stuff is really good with a brush. I'm going to try it with a sponge on my nose. And let's do my lip a little. Make them look bigger, you know? Again, I literally look crazy right now. So much of my liquid bronzer has been picked up by the friggin contour stick. I'm going to try just going in with the brush with the actual product and see if I can kind of add colour because I just feel like like there's nothing there. Like the contour just kind of left the building when I blended it out. Maybe added a bit more color, but I don't know if that's what I want right now. <laughs> anyway, what's next? Eyeliner? <laughs> okay, I guess you're the boss. <laughs> I'm gonna tight line first. Now I'm gonna do a little line of felt tip liner. I don't really wanna do a wing. <laughs> My eyelids are so oily right now because they haven't been set. <laughs> oh geez. Now it's time for eyeshadow. Lord help me. Okay, I'm gonna use my Jouer Tan Lines palette because why not? I do actually want to do like a nice eye look with this palette. One of you guys asked me to do another one, but I don't think 
this is gonna do its justice. So I'm just gonna do a quick little eyeshadow. I'm gonna go into the dark brown color. I'm gonna kind of do like a halo eye thing, but heck, I'm not being too neat with it. <laughs> Dampen it on and then blend in. My eyeliner has kind of dulled down a little bit. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's just to cover my lash band anyway. All right, kind of set in the concealer that I still have not set. Now I'm gonna take the color Sure Thing and I'm just gonna put this down the center of the lid. Trying to avoid the eyeliner. <laughs> oh gosh, nope, that just went right over top of it. Great. I just realized my eyeliner transferred onto my waterline, which is great. Now I'm just gonna take the Driftwood color and try and like stamp it over the liner so it darkens a little bit more. Ooh, I think this is helping. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna quickly finish off the other eye just off camera to speed up this a little bit and I'll be right back. <laughs> I just realized you guys have been wonky pretty much this whole entire video. So I'm sorry if that bothered you. I hope we're kind of straight now. <laughs> But yeah, I did a little bit of an inner corner highlight with the yellow from the palette. I look like I've never done eyeshadow in my life, but I do quite like the look. It's like a soft spotlight kind of eye going on. Uh, yeah, anyway, next step. <laughs> and it is, oh, it's foundation. Okay, so I think the sponge method is gonna be the best for this so I don't move everything underneath it. I'm gonna use my Dream Urban Cover by Maybelline. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and just go on in. Hopefully we can add a bit more coverage back because literally it looks like my concealer has just gone. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Oh boy. <laughs> At least I can like clean up everything now, I guess. Maybe I don't have to put it all over my face, you know. I can be strategic with this, right? Lightly pressing it over that blush. So hopefully we can get a little bit going through. This isn't working out too badly, you know. <laughs> that actually looks decent. Like I feel like the blush looks really nice and it is coming through the foundation. I'm surprised considering we used a powder blush and it doesn't have weird texture or anything. Maybe it's just had time to warm up to my skin. I mean, the bronzer and contour is pretty much gone. They have left the building. <laughs> my foundation is kind of going a little bit weird where they were. Oh dear. Like it doesn't want to blend. Can you guys see that line? Oh god. I reckon it was the Fenty. The Fenty has done me dirty. <laughs> you know what? I don't think that looks too bad. I actually quite like the like bronze around my hairline and everything. It is literally just whatever this is by here. <laughs> okay, so what is next on my list? Mm, highlights, okay. Can I finally use a powder now? <laughs> I'm gonna use Ofra Star Island. Let's go for the glowing goddess look, shall we? Okay, highlight, 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 yes. This should be beaming and also just mold on into my skin because I have no powder on. <laughs> so beautiful. I was right. <laughs> my under eyes look ridiculous right now. I really need some more concealer. Oh god, I'm just literally highlighting my entire existence right now. <laughs> Alright, next is lashes. Oh no. Oh wait, I've forgotten eyebrows. <laughs> eh. Oh, hmm. I guess I'm just not gonna do them. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrows because otherwise this isn't gonna look complete. I'm so sorry I forgot to do that. I don't know why they're not on my list. So I'm gonna do them the way that they should have been done, which is first eyebrow gel. Who did I manage to forget brows? I don't even know. I mean, they're a mess anyway, but you know. <laughs> All right, my battery just died. I've done my brow gel. Now it's time for brow powder, which I'm gonna use browsing as my benefit. I still can't believe I forgot to do brow. I like, got the heck? Just FYI, this is actually the way round I do my brows. <laughs> I do brow gel first and then I fill in with the browsings because I have kind of like thick-ish brows I just find that this is the easiest way for me to tame them all right brows are done so now it's time for lashes so that means I'm putting on falsies before I've done my mascara which is not something I would usually do all right for lashes I'm going to use the doll beauty Ariel. you know it begins with a stick into the alphabetical order thing <laughs> I hate doing my lashes without my mascara on yes you can get really up to the lash line but my eyelashes are pretty much blonde because i gotta go heavily in with mascara otherwise you can see the freaking lashes you know i'm wondering if these are even gonna stay on because they may melt off because it's so hot <laughs> you know if it's not the wind trying to steal my lash it's the sun <laughs> you'll only get that if you follow my instagram <laughs> and it was from a while ago so if you want to get the jokes you need to be follow me on all my social medias. <laughs> While we're waiting for my lash glue to, you know, get tacky, why don't you go follow me on Instagram and Twitter? Just a suggestion, you don't have to. I'm just saying, while you're waiting, like, you know. All right, the lashes are on and looking very speckly. Cause you could currently see my blonde eyelashes underneath. All right, next step I've got is actually liquid eyeshadow because I usually use those. <laughs> so I wanted to throw it in the mix. Let's use a sparkly one. I'm gonna use this one by MAC, which is called Lash and Dash. I'm gonna pop this like on the center, just for a pop or something. Oh, I'm getting it on my lashes. That's just great. Trying desperately to avoid my lashes, but it's so hard. <laughs> All right, cool. So I've got a little bit of a 
glittery halo eye going on. Looks kind of pretty. I may use a little bit of this one too, which is Every Day in Sunshine. I'm just going to use this like on my inner corner down by here. Okay, now it's mascara. Where does powder come? <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna coat my lashes and hope for the best. Hope I can cover up all the blonde hairs that I have better, but I really don't like doing this. <laughs> I just feel like it doesn't let your lashes last as long either. Cause you know you're coating them with mascara as well. Okay, so now it is powder. Cause you know, I really want to set this in place real good. I'm just gonna use a little bit of Jeffree Star's magic powder and just dust it all over the face. <laughs> Hopefully I can blur any craziness that's going on in my face. Oh man, that contour did me so dirty. Like, look at it. There's like nothing there. Dear me. My forehead's looking pretty good though. Now I wanna set my under eyes as well with powder. Hopefully this is gonna make them look better because at the moment they look crazy. They have like zero coverage compared to my face and everything. Just blend this in. It hasn't done that much for my under eyes. It hasn't added any more coverage or anything. Maybe I should have gone in with a press powder, but you know what? It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look the worst. It doesn't look the best either. The powder does blur everything though, so my skin looks super duper blurred right now. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? <gasps> no! <laughs> Next step is primer. Ha How am I gonna do primer? Let me see what I can do. <laughs> All right, so I do technically have a primer. <laughs> Is the Primer Water by Smashbox. Now, I, I know it's pretty much like empty. There's hardly anything in there, but I reckon I can maybe get a spray or two out of this. So let's prime our face, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they're really not coming out that much, is it? I would never do this with lashes on or mascara on because otherwise it transfers. <laughs> All right, so we are primed. I forgot to do my lips. This video is so screwed. I'm so sorry, guys. This is such a fail. I'm gonna do my lipstick real quick. I'm using a Kiko one. And now the final step is setting spray. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Prep Set Glow from Iconic London because I really like this one for a glow. And let's set the face. <laughs> Cool me down a bit. All right, everyone. So that is my failed attempt of the end. <laughs> doing my makeup alphabetically. I'm so sorry that I mixed a few of the things up. I've never done this before, okay? <laughs> I hope you can forgive me and enjoy it. Anyway, this was a little bit of fun, just a light-hearted video, but I don't think I'll be doing my makeup like this again. <laughs> Didn't come out too badly, considering. It's just really the contour, like the contour let me down. I was surprised the blush came through, considering it was a powder blush. I thought it was gonna just dissolve with the foundation, but it's still like, I'm here, you know, I'm, I'm peeking through. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you don't mind the messy bun because quite frankly, I don't even want to think about wearing my hair down right now <laughs> But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world If you're new, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the red button down below and the bell button so you get notified of new uploads If you enjoyed this fun little video, please leave a thumbs up so I know and yeah I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys I'm gonna use my dream over and drink the Oh, that pretty much completely missed me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it didn't come out too bad. It didn't come out too bad.